verse 3, according as his divine power. This is dynamic power. This is unfailing power. This is healing power. This is transformation power. And this is the kind of power that the devil cannot resist. This is irresistible power. According as his divine power has given unto us how many things? How many things can you have tonight? How many things can you possess tonight? How many miracles can you take home tonight? According as his divine power, he has given us all things that pertain unto life and to godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Satanic nature gone. Yeah. Adamic nature gone. Yeah. Human nature gone. Yeah. The nature of our forefathers gone. Yeah. Grandfather, grandma, this is how they used to do. All that nature gone. Yeah. Your personal uh, Adamic uh, uh, propensity and nature gone in Jesus' name. Yeah. Partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. It's happening today. I said it's happening today. Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 19. I'm taking something home today. I said I'm taking something home today. I will never be the same again. Something is coming within me. Something is coming in my soul. Something is coming in my spirit. Tonight I feel it. And tonight you will see it in your life in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power. Weakness, get out. All infirmity, get out. Fear, get out. All the doubting here and there, get out in Jesus' name. All the vacillation, undulating, I'm here, I'm not there, I will, I will not, I'm doubting, I'm fearing, everything is gone tonight. Behold, I give unto your power to tread on serpents and scorpions, all of them, all of them they'll come under your feet and over all the power of the enemy and nothing somebody there and nothing shall by any means hurt you nothing 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 shall by any means hurt me nothing shall by any means hurt me now let's look at let's look at a man is waiting for us elisha is waiting for us he said are you not going to see that i got it i got it so that you too you will get it elisha got it i said elisha got it i said elisha got it i have got it look at second kings chapter 2 verse 11 and it came to pass as it still went on and touch that behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by a wild wind into heaven and Elijah saw it will you see your own and he cried my father my father the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof and he saw him no more and he took hold of his own clothes and wrenched them in two pieces. And he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. It's for you. And he went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. And he smote the waters and said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, what happened? They parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. 
that river will divide for you. Yeah. Will be parted on your behalf. You will go over. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they'll see you. They'll see the power of you. They'll see the anointing upon you. They said, the spirit of Elijah does rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him, before you. Sister, I said before you. Brother, I said before you. Now in Ephesians, in Ephesians, this is your verse tonight. This is your verse tonight. In Ephesians chapter 3, and I'm reading here from verse 20. Ephesians chapter 3, this is your verse. Say, this is my verse. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or seek, according to the power that walketh in you unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end double portion upon your life amen double anointing upon your life amen double miracle upon your life tonight amen Everything you are asking tonight, above what you can ask, above what you can think, but the power that walketh inside you is done tonight. You are going to rise up and you are going to tell the Lord, Oh Lord, it is my night. It is my night. It is my night. It's the night of double portion. It's the night of double portion. It's the night of double portion. Salvation is available. Freedom available. Forgiveness available. Redemption available, deliverance available, healing available, dominion available, sanctification available, and health available, prosperity available, power available tonight. Every need will be met, every prayer will be answered, every request will be met. You can ask the Lord tonight, Oh Lord, here I am. Oh Lord, here I am. Oh Lord, here I am. Nothing is too big tonight. Nothing is too great tonight. Nothing is too far-fetched tonight. It's happening tonight. It's happening tonight. It's happening tonight. It will happen. It will happen. Tell him, tell him, tell him. That's why we're here. You are the reason for the meeting tonight. You are the reason for the message tonight. And you are the reason for the declaration tonight. It's your prophecy. It's your portion. It is your promise. It's coming upon your life tonight. Everything you ask, nothing will be subtracted. Everything you are demanding, nothing will be taken away from you. Victory over sin available tonight. Righteousness available tonight. The power of sonship available tonight. And the power for holiness available tonight. That mantle is coming upon your life. The man of God said so, and it happened. He made a consecration, and then he made a connection, and it happened. Tell the Lord tonight, all those consecrations of the past who have made, bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. Lay everything on the altar once again. Renew your consecration before the Lord. I will not go back. I will not turn back. I will not rest by the wayside. I will not stop my journey halfway through.
everything I ever offered to the Lord, I bring everything back on the altar. Burn the bridges behind you. No turning back. No looking back. No going back. All to Jesus is surrender tonight. Heart, soul, mind, life, time, treasure, lay everything down. What you are going to get in exchange is much, much greater. And do it cheerfully, do it happily. Do it without any reservation. Let your following the Lord be without interruption. I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. I'll serve the Lord. No tiredness. No weakness. No discouragement. No looking at the size that dazzle. No looking at the world. No looking back. All to Jesus I surrender. I bring my life. I bring everything I've got. I bring it to Jesus tonight. He gave all for me and I give all to him. Any voice that says, stay here, no, I'm going on. Look back, no, I'm looking forward. Collapse, fall, fear, be discouraged, be weak, no, not again. The promises of God are yes and amen for you tonight. He will not fail. He cannot fail. He's hearing your prayer. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. He answers prayer. Whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever you shall ask in his name, that will he do. He cannot fail, he will not fail, he has not lied, he's a faithful God. Any weakness of the past, confess and forsake. Have you taken anything from the altar of consecration in the past? Bring everything back. We're moving on. Moving on. Asking for double victory, not just a minimal victory over sin, superficial victory over sin, great victory, deep victory, broad victory, high victory, double. Total victory over sin. Not superficial sanctification. Deep, 
wide, broad, high, sanctification. Holiness through and through, within and without, double. Power, the power of the Holy Ghost, immersion into that power, endowment of that power, saturation with that power. That every corner of your heart, every corner of your soul, we have the saturation of the spirit, the spirit of power, double anointing that breaks every yoke. Ask him, it's a faithful God. Ask him, he'll do it. He that believes on me, the works I do shall do, and greater works than he shall he do, because I go unto the Father. Let there be a confirmation in your life tonight, a realization in your life tonight. A demonstration in your life tonight. Believe. The signs are for the believers. The wonders are for the believers. The miracles are for the believers. Your own portion nobody will take from you. Tell him, tell him, tell him. He will not fail you tonight. He promised you'll see what you have never seen. He promised you'll do what you have never done. He promised your power beyond any power you have ever seen in your life. Don't leave any stone unturned. Everything you need, everything you promised, this is your opportunity, this is your chance. Let him confirm it in your spirit. Let him confirm it in your heart. With an assurance. Assurance. Assurance.
Elisha got it, there was no doubt. An immediate evidence, instantaneous evidence, that even those who are watching, they could tell the spirit of Elijah does rest upon Elisha. Let there be a confirmation in your heart. The knowledge of the spirit that you know. It is so, it is so, without a shadow of doubt. Stand on the promises, they cannot fail. Receive the fulfillment, it cannot fail. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has answered your prayer. I said the Lord has answered your prayer. You have got it. I said you have got it. Say, I have got it. Say that again, I have got it. And heaven confirm it upon your life in Jesus' name. Everything you uttered in prayer has been confirmed from heaven. As two of us agree as touching anything, the Lord has done it already. Yokes, your yokes are broken. Your spiritual life is now up. Power in every realm is now in your life in Jesus' name. You'll go out strong. The mighty name of Jesus will work wonders in your life. And everything Calvary purchased for you, everything is yours tonight. Where is the person I'm talking to there? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the victory tonight. We thank you for deliverance tonight. 
We thank you for healing tonight. We thank you for dominion tonight. We thank you for transformation tonight. We thank you for holiness tonight. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. Lord, I pray for all your children. You confirm your blessing double fold in every life in Jesus' name. Every promise they have claimed and every power they have received, I pray there will be a manifestation in every life. Lord, I pray you accept their confession, accept their consecration, accept their absolute surrender. Turn everyone, every brother, every sister, everyone here tonight to a different person in Jesus' name. Let your power reside inside them. Let your power go with them. And I pray, Lord, they'll pull down. Every power of the enemy, they'll pull down. And they go forth in the mighty power of the Lord in Jesus' name. Healing for everyone. To my left, to my right, in front of me, at the gallery, outside everywhere, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Lame, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for those who have any kind of a disease they were born with, take it away in Jesus' name. And the power of serpents, of scorpions, of evil spirits, of evil power, of demonic oppression, cancel it in Jesus' name. Boldness upon your people. Power upon your people. Courage in your people. That Lord, everything that is negative is swept away tonight in Jesus' name. Miracle in every life. Manifestation in every life. Demonstration in every life. And I pray, Lord, as your people go, they go in the joy of the Lord. And they go with all the answers to all their prayers in Jesus' name. For everyone here tonight, double portion. Everyone here tonight, double power. Every here, everyone here tonight, double revelation. And I pray, Lord, you live big, mighty inside everyone, Lord. From now, let everyone realize greater is seed that is in them than anything, anyone in the world. As your people go, clear the way for them. And Lord, I pray the success, the job, the prosperity, the miracle, Miracle children and life for those who have been down. Fulfill it in every life in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. He has answered your prayer. I said he has answered your prayer. I said he has answered your prayer double portion in your life. Praise the Lord! Wait, wait, everybody. He has done for me. He has done for me. What my brother cannot do. What my people cannot do. He has done for me. If he has done it for you, can you come and give testimony? We are waiting for your testimony. God has taught you. Don't be an ingrate. Come and give your testimony. Sing aloud. He has done for me. Please come to the choir stand. We are expecting. We are waiting for you. God has taught us tonight. He has done it for you. He has done it for me. He has done it. Sing aloud. He has done it. He has done for me. Let's 
celebrate the downfall of infirmity. Let's celebrate the downfall of the adversity. Sing aloud, he has done it for you. No more nothingness in your life. Celebrate. We are free from the hand of Mr. Terror. No more storm in your home. He has done it for us. We are waiting for you. Come and share your testimony. We are celebrating. We are celebrating tonight. He has done it tonight. Sing aloud. He has done it for you. He has done it for me. Let's celebrate. You have a testimony. We are waiting for you. Near the puppy by my left. Celebration time. Don't go. Listen to the testimony. Because you, you are going to give your testimony. If you are just receive miracle, we are waiting for you. Sing it aloud. You are done it. Oshé, Oshé. Just receive your miracle and you are listening to us on the radio or television. Please share your testimony with us via the WhatsApp number plus 234 915 4449 26. Let's celebrate. Anywhere you are in the globe and God has taught you, please come out. Share your testimony with us through our WhatsApp number plus 234 915 444 9263 or the link gckhq gckhq.org slash testimony being displayed on the screen. You can also record a video of your testimony and share with us via our WhatsApp and Telegram. Brethren, let's celebrate. God has done wonder tonight. What manner of God we are serving. He has visited us today. We are going to celebrate. Say, say the downfall of Satan. Glory be. Have you seen the downfall of Satan? Sing out. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. March on him. You have seen the downfall of Satan. The giant of infirmity has been falling. The adversary has departed from your way. No more nothingness in your life. Mr. Terror, Mrs. Terror, they are going to fear you now. No more storm. If you have seen the downfall of Satan, sing it aloud. Let's celebrate. We are seeing the downfall of Satan. Jesus is the winner. Answer, answer. Are you a winner? 
If you are a winner, can you not sing? We are waiting for your testimony. Please come out and share the testimony. better but you can do more than that praise the lord you know the downfall of satan you witnessed tonight shall be perpetual downfall i said it will be perpetual downfall in jesus name we want to listen to testimony now you can be seated we are not in hurry tonight we want to celebrate openly the downfall of the of the devil here with me is uh, Brother Chuku Peter. He has a testimony to share with us. Praise the Lord. I, I really have to share this one because the devil has been trying to discourage me from letting people know what God has done for me. My life has been reward for the past seven years since I left my parents' home and wandering on the streets trying to become a man on my own. And it was full of sorrow and pain and shame until I came back home with a severe sickness that was pneumonia that left my life for over 15 years. And it came back around ending of November, or third week of November last year. So I called my parents and told them I was coming home and they told me to come home. And I came back home and attending to the Bible studies, Sunday worship service, it was on the 11th of December. 2023, that was last year, Pastor Kumui gave a message on accepting the truth, buying the truth and selling it not. So that was the night I, within me was really burning, like I couldn't hold it within me anymore. I had to confess and tell God, um, this is me, just do whatever you want to do with me. So that was the night I surrendered everything and promised I won't go back to, because my life think about any kind of sin, yes, I was involved in it. So I told God I won't go back to any of those things. And since then, he has been helping me, keeping me. I've been saved and experiencing the joy of his salvation. Praise the Lord. The Lord. Here is Sister Chinyere Olua Shegun. She has come to share what God did for her this very night. Let's listen to her. Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! My name is Sister Chinyere Olua Shegun. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the salvation of my soul. I was a sinner coming to this church, even though I was very young when I started this church, though I was not born again. There was a day that Pastor Kumi was preaching a message, remember, in the church. That day I wept. That message touched me. I really cried like a baby. I said, if I end my life in a sinful way, how, where, am I going to, where am I going to be? That means I will go to hellfire. But I thank God because God saved me. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Five years ago, I did VG. I prayed. After praying, I slept off. So when I slept, I just noticed that somebody slapped me. Invisible hand slapped me. 
I woke up and I was sleeping with my daughter, my small daughter then. She was like six years old. But the hand I felt was the hand of an adult. So I said, who slapped me? I didn't see anybody. It was in the middle of the night. So since then, I've been experiencing hotness of the body in my ear, hotness. It will be as if they pour pepper in my body. So some months, last, last month, it started again. I was still feeling it. When it starts, I can't tell anybody, but I used to pray to God that, God, remove this problem. It will be as if one side of me wants to be paralyzed. So even when it started today, I was contemplating whether to come. The devil did not want me to come. But I'm the type that when I determine that I'm going to do something, I normally do it. So I determined and I came. When I came, pastor was preaching. I was really connected with the preaching. So when the prayer started, I prayed like a wounded lion. So when the pastor was rounding out the prayer, it's as if they pour ice water on me. And I felt relieved. That's why I got my my testimony, my healing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As you have heard, our sister, she's been having these numerous symptoms in her body for five years. But this night, the Lord healed her instantaneously. Praise the Lord. Church, what are you getting? Say it louder. Say it again. You are getting extra and your cough will run over. Here is Brother Jeremiah Amakato who has come to testify of what God has done for him. Praise the Lord. And I thank God for what he has done for me. Actually, that was 2021 to 2022. I had issues with my health, and the name of the um, illness was um, stroke of the young, which affected my brain, I, and I couldn't talk. But God still helped me. After that, I now had seizure constantly. So they gave me a drug that when I'm stressed, that medicine will reduce the stress. So constantly, constantly, the thing usually happened to me because the thing reduced my productivity. So that was on that was Jan January 15. I was here while the pastor was praying. He said that there was a there is somebody that something is hitting the brain, and I told God that maybe it's He's talking to me. I went to the woman that usually gave me the drugs. And I told her that, please, don't you have the drugs? He said, nobody, uh, no drugs, it's finished. So I went and I told God that if this seizure has gone, the next day, I allow her to get the drugs. But if not, that means this seizure has gone. The next day, I went. The woman said, no drugs. The third day, I went again. She said, no drugs. And the, that seizure, if I don't take it for two days, the seizure will arise again. But since that time, till now, I've not gotten seizure. Praise the Lord. Our brother had a stroke some years ago, and that, that led to a sort of brain injury that resulted in him having epilepsy, having frequent convulsion. As he has narrated, he prayed and he trusted the word of God, and the Lord ministered to his natural father in the Lord, one of the GCK. He believed. And to the glory of God, God has so orchestrated it that he has not been using the drug. And despite that, for about three weeks now, he has been seizure-free. And usually, he can't do without the drug for two days. But here is him 
the Lord has healed him. Praise the Lord. Now, let's listen to the online testimony now. My name is Sister Patience Donald. I had an accident June this year, and I was unable to walk because it affected my kneecap. My kneecap shifted, and I depended on crushes ever since then. So while on the hospital bed, it happens that GCK was ahead of us. So I kill him and I subscribe to the YouTube and I watch our GS preaching. At the final amen, I discovered I was able to walk. Even when I was pressed, I said, ah, this one that I'm pressed, who will assist me to the restroom? I said, something was telling me, patience, stand up, you can walk. God has done it for you. So I stood up and I f discovered I can walk. I could not bend my leg, I could not fold it this way, but after that time, I walked down to the restroom and made use of it. Since then, I can walk. My kneecap now is intact. God has done it for me. I say may his name alone be highly exalted. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are going to be celebrated. Something has happened to you tonight. Let's open our mouth and thank the Lord for what he has done for us tonight. So he has done it for us. He has done it for us. Open your mouth and bless him. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we just want to say thank you. We want to bless your name because you have done so much for us. You cannot tell it all. Father, I want to decree that the spiritual robbers that may be waiting on the way to sneak away or to steal away all the blessings we have received today, arrest them in Jesus' name. All that we have gotten tonight shall be permanent. I say it shall be permanent. All the giants that have been conquered that have been destroyed, they are buried in Jesus' name. If there's any power after tonight's meeting trying to do anything against us, let the power of God arrest them, imprison them, never to be released until the day of judgment in Jesus' name. As your people are going, let them go in freedom, in peace. Thank you, Father. Grant us journey mercy back to our residence. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God bless you.